Oh, hey. So you clicked on this video because you're wondering how in the hell I got this food in Daisy, right? Well, I'm here to show you. Before this video officially starts, I would like to remind you to smack the shit out of the subscribe button and leave a like, as it would be greatly appreciated. First on the list is fruit trees. One of the most basic and simple ways of finding food is just underneath fruit trees on coastal cities. The nutritional value of fruit is much lower compared to other food, but it can help you last a while to eventually find that can of beans. There are three kinds of fruit which are pears, plums, and apples. It's important that you know that dried fruit is totally edible and that rotten fruit should not be eaten. Next on the list is to search houses. If you play on a high populated server, it may be a struggle to find food in homes due to them already being looted by other players. I suggest that you make use of the fruit trees by making your way inland to search other houses which may be abundant in canned goods. My favorite way of getting food in Day Z is by killing zombies. When zombies die, they have a 60% chance of spawning food on them. In order to do this correctly, you will need to attract several zombies on your character and go into a building where you can hit them through a window. This method is very dangerous, so take caution as you can get easily swarmed. Another great way to obtain food is by hunting animals. You'll need a ranged weapon of some sort in order to take down your prey. There are many types of animals you can hunt, which include chickens in urban areas, wolves, bear, and many others. I suggest being careful around wolves and bears as they are very aggressive. Once you've killed an animal, you'll need to skin it with a knife of some sort to get its meat. I suggest that you wash your hands after to prevent getting sick. After you've collected your meat, you want to craft a fire to cook it. The first step to craft a fire is by collecting sticks from a bush by chopping it down. Break down this long stick that you receive into three short sticks. Once you have done so, combine a rag with the short stick to craft a fireplace. At this point, you will want to grab some bark off of a tree in order to make a hand drill kit if you don't have matches or a lighter to start the fire. You can craft this by combining a short stick along with the piece of bark. The last step before you start cooking is to craft yourself a sharpened stick from a long stick using a knife. Then attach the meat to a sharpened stick and hover over the fire which will give you the option to cook the meat. While you are cooking, you should cook the meat for one cycle because it is possible to burn it when you are fully cooking it for two cycles. My last way of acquiring food in Daisy is by fishing. In order to fish, you will want to check the coast for washed up boats and search them for items such as the fishing rod and hook. Next, you will want to find a nice lake or marsh to fish at. You will also need a knife or shovel to dig up some worms to be used as bait. Once you have collected your bait, combine it with the hook and attach it to your fishing rod. Looking at the water, you will have the option to fish. Your character will tug on the line for a second and you will receive a fish. Once you have caught the fish, you will want to cut it up with a knife in order to get the meat. You will also want to wash your hands in order to get rid of the blood. Afterwards, you will make yourself a fire and you'll have yourself a little fish cookout. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. Make sure to also check out my other guide videos on my channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!